For me, interest in architectural forms has taken me into interest in organizational form. So organization is actually beyond architecture or engineering or mathematics or anything. And being interested in organization, how does the universe work? How does uh, stock markets work? What are the organizational principles in language? In there, if I use glass, concrete, steel in those organizational principles, I get buildings. If I use it at a different scale, I could get installations. If I take numbers as my material, I can find the Sigma code. Immediately realized that this was the thing that we could, um, uh, a pro this project or a project like it, could completely transform this turn of the century mansion. And I came to the view that if you want to see architecture that I do or designs I do, you should go visit them. That's the only way to experience it. But if I'm going to show it in some kind of version, compressed, I won't show the whole thing. I'll just show the processes around it, in it, within it. That was the idea of this using numbers, geometry, platonic ideas. The Greek start to classical thinking, the Renaissance progression of proportions, so as a summary here, my work is juxtaposed with the references, so I'm, I'm saying I derive from these ideas, and they are in me anyway, working them out. Except that architecture classically has been based on a conscious expression of the distinction between form and structure. Very often the tectonic tradition yeah, I blurred has... That. Hmm? I've blurred uh, that yeah, completely. Without falling into the rhetoric of the old rhetoric of the division and separation. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful.